all right you're welcome to my youtube channel this is is grace tutor and what i do here is that i solve technical drawing problems and also provide information that are very important that you need to know for you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations um the technical drawing student and you are watching my video for the first time i welcome you and i want to ask you that you should subscribe to this youtube channel um, when you uh, press the subscribe button also make sure you activate the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and i want to ask you to help me share my videos with your friends who are also technical drawing students and tell them that they should come and learn here and i want to tell you that as a technical drawing student you need to practice this subject is a practical subject so you need to practice it if you are to master it now as you can see on the screen i want to discuss with you a very important topic in technical drawing and that topic is known as conic sections conic sections now when we talk about conic sections conic sections are the shapes which are obtained when a cone is cut from different positions i said conic sections are the shapes that are obtained when a cone is cut from different positions now what do i mean by that if you look at this shape very well you will see that this is the front elevation of a cone the front elevation of a cone will give you a, reg a, a, a triangle sorry it will give you a triangle now look at what we have here now we now have these lines that you see here line a a line b b line c c line d d and line e e are what we call cutting planes we call them cutting planes now these cutting planes let's look at a a for example this cutting plane a a it cut this part of the cone it cut it off so what will be the shape that we are going to obtain here that is what we want to do here that's what i want to show you so what will be the shape that we are going to get when we remove this part what are we going to see here what will be that shape okay and then for cutting plane bb if it cut this part of the cone off what are we going to see here what will be the shape that we are going to see around here so that is what i want to show you so those shapes that we are going to obtain when the cone is cut based on the position of each of these cutting plane are known as conic sections so here i'm going to work on each of these not in this same video i'm going to have different videos for each of these cutting plane so that you can understand it so that you can understand it so that's the purpose of making different videos for this so i'm starting with cutting plane aa so when the cutting plane aa cut this part of the cone off what will be the shape that we are going to obtain here in the plan and also as a true shape as a true shape so let's see how we are going to do this now the first thing that you need to do is to draw a vertical center line so we draw a vertical center line like this so i don't want to hide anything i want you to understand it so that's the reason why i want to start like this so then we draw the horizontal center line okay and then so let us take the radius of the circular base of the cone as 30 millimeters as 30 millimeters so I'll take a measurement of 30 millimeters on my ruler. Okay, then I'll put at the center here and draw a circle. So this circle is the plan of the circular base of the cone. Then the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So I'm dividing the circle into 12 equal parts. So with the use of my set square. Okay. And 
okay so last one all right so i've divided the circle into 12 equal parts i'm going to number each point on the circle so i will call this point i'll call it zero this is one this is two this is three this is four five this is six seven eight nine ten and eleven so i've divided it into 12 equal parts so the next thing i'm going to do is that i i'm going to draw a baseline here okay then i will take the height of the cone take the height as 50 millimeters i'll just take 50 millimeters don't want it to be so 50 millimeters so i take it as 50 millimeters so then so with my cell square so i'll draw this line and then I also draw this line and each of these points that we have on the circumference of the circle I will draw from 11 up so 11 and 1 are same point 2 and 10 they are the same point on the circumference of the circle then 4 and 8 are the same point on the circumference of the circle as we have 3 and 9 they are the same point on the circumference of the circle then 5 and 7 are also at the same point on the circumference of the circle so the next thing I'm going to do now is to connect this point together so i'll make this line i will make it a thick line okay so i'll just make it a thick line so i will also make this i'll make it a thick line like this all right so then the base so the base i will make it thick a thick line like this okay then so i will join each of these points with the apex of the cone Okay, so I join this. So I'm doing this. So in case you are learning for the first time, I don't want to hide anything from you. I want you to see everything how it should be done. So that is why I'm, I don't want to pause the video. Okay, now with what we have done here, so I want to put the cutting plane. I want to put the cutting plane. So the cutting plane. So I'll just I just move it up so you can take like 20 millimeters. So you take it up like this. So I, I want it to be here. So the cutting plane goes like this. So the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone. The cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone. So if the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone, so what will be the shape that we are going to see around here when the upper part, when the upper part, so this is AA, so when the upper part is removed. So this upper part, when it is removed, so what will be the shape that we are going to see around here, which will also appear in the plan if this happens to be a solid cone. So what will be the shape that we are going to obtain here in the plan and also as a true shape. So I'm going to work on those two things. So now let's get what, we shape, what the shape will be in the plan if the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone. Now what you need to do now is that from this point, so if I number this, so if I number this, this is point 0.0, this is point 0.1, 11, this is point 0.2, 10, this is point 0.3, 9, so this is point 0.48, and this is point 0.5, 7, and this is point 0.6. So this cutting plane, it touch line 0 here, it touch 11 and 1 here, or 1 and 11, it touch 2 and 10 here, it touch 3 and 9 here, it touch 4 and 8 here, it touch 5 and 7 here, and it touch 6 here. So from each of these points, we are going to produce vertical line into the plan. What, what I mean is this. So from this point, draw a vertical line down into the plan. So this comes down from line 0. It comes down from line 0. So when it touch this horizontal line zero so you take note of it so you have a point here you have a point here then we move to point one and eleven point one and eleven so you draw a vertical line like this so it touch one here and it touch eleven here then you move to two ten 
So you draw a vertical line down like this. So you touch 2 at this point and you touch 10 here. Then how can we get that of 3 and 9? Because this is a vertical line. What you need to do is to take your compass and you take this distance from here to here. So take this distance from here to here and bring it to the center. Then on line 3 and 9, so make acts like this i believe you can see it so this is three this is three and this is nine then the next thing that we do is that we move to eight and four so draw a vertical line down here so it meets four at this point and it meets eight at this point then for five and seven draw a vertical line down so this line, it meets 5 at this point, and it meets 7 at this point. Then the last one is 6. So draw a vertical line from point 6 here. So touch this point, so it meets it here. So all these points, we are going to join them together with the use of a French curve. So we want to see what the shape will be when we join them together. So I'm joining them together now with my French curve. Okay. So I don't want to hide anything. I want you to see everything, how it should be done. Okay. So this is the shape that we obtain in the plan. And then as we have it here, as I said, if this happens to be a solid cone, we are going to see a rough surface around there. So I'm going to arch this surface now. Okay. So with 45 degrees square, we produce arching lines to show that that surface is rough. So that's what I'm doing here right now. Okay, so that's what we have in the plan. So this is the shape in the plan. Now, what will be the true shape of this surface? What will be the true shape of this surface? What will be the shape? The shape? So how will the shape look? So what you need to do is that the true shape is always uh, the lines that we have to use to produce the true shape. The true shape they are always perpendicular to the cutting plane. So what you just need to do is to take your cell square. So draw a vertical line at this point zero here, up. Then you move to point 1 and 11, draw a vertical line. Point 2, 10, draw a vertical line. Point 3 and 9, so draw a vertical line. Point 4, 8, draw a vertical line. Point 5, 7, draw a vertical line. And point 6, draw a vertical line. So on this vertical line, so you come up a bit with your T-square and you draw a horizontal line like this. So this horizontal line that we have drawn, so this is, if you follow this, this is point 0 and this is point 6. So we need to obtain other points. We need to obtain other points. So what you just need to do is to take your compass. So take your compass. So we have already gotten 0 and 6. So put the pinpoint of the compass in between point 1 and 11. Okay. So you put it here. I believe you can see it. So I may need to reduce, okay? So you put at this point, and you take the distance of this point. So take this distance. So from here to here, take this distance. Then you put it on line 1 and 11. So you make an arc here. Make an arc here, and then you make an arc here. Okay, and then for point 2 and 10, so take this distance like this. Okay, so put it on line 210. So you make an arc here and you make an arc here. Okay, then 3 and 9. So take this distance. So put at the 
center here, make an arc here, make an arc here. So this line contains 3 and 9. So bring it here for 4, 8. So bring it here. This line contains 4 and 8. So make arc here. Then we have, next one we have is 5 and 7. So take this distance, bring it to this line that contains 5 and 7. So make an arc here and we make an arc here. Okay, so all these points, we have to join them together with the use of a French curve. So we have this point, we have this point, we have this point, this point, we have this point, we have this point, this point, this point, this point, and this point here. Likewise, we have this point and this point. So all these points, we are going to join them together with the use of a French curve so that we can see the shape that we are going to obtain here. So what would be... How will the shape look? So, with this, I can join this together like this. Okay. So, I've joined this together. So, I can join this together like this. Then, I can join this together. Okay. okay, so looking at what we have here, so this gives us a circle, so it gives us a circle, so we are going to arch this, so when the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone, to the circular base of the cone, the shape, the true shape will give us a circle. Likewise, in the plan, so we also have a circle. So that's what I want to bring out here. So when the cutting plane is parallel to the base of the cone, the true shape is a circle, and also the shape in the plan is, or the shape in the plan is also a circle. So that is what I want you to understand here. So that when you are given this in exam, and you are given the direction of the cutting plane, you should be able to state what the shape will be. So they will give you the option and give you different kind of uh, conic sections and circle will also be there. So I expect you to shoot the right answer as the circle. So that is what we have here. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening. God bless you.